When you're talking about the new CompTIA a exams, the word to use is evolution, not revolution. First of all, CompTIA has gone back to their earlier format where there's only two exams. Uh, in the previous set of exams, you would have your base exam, and then you had a choice of three different exams to take. That's all over. Now you take the 220-701 exam, better known as the Essentials, and then you take the 220-702 exam, better known as Practical Application. So you've got to take those two tests. The other thing to keep in mind is that the a exams have not managed to get Windows 7 involved which is a little frustrating for us because just about the time these new exams came out, Windows 7 came along and CompTIA chose not to include Windows 7. However, in my product, you're gonna see that we put lots of Windows 7 in there. We treat it as a beyond A plus type of feature, but even though Windows 7 isn't on the exam, it is so predominant, it's so much out there that we feel that at least a strong mention needs to be done and we've done it all over the place. The other thing to keep in mind is that from a technology standpoint, CompTIA seems to have drawn back a little bit. It, in my opinion, you're not going to be hit on super high details and the size of caches and things like that for a Phenom 2 processor or anything, but it is important you understand the types of caches. So it, in my opinion, they've taken an overview up from about 6,000 feet up to about 30,000 feet. So while they're still looking for important conceptualization issues in terms of CPU, RAM, caching, motherboards, hard drives, all that stuff, they really have taken it more from an overview standpoint. Now, when it comes to actually enacting repair, CompTIA has actually taken it down a little bit. Do be expected to go into Windows and be able to understand how to do things, for example, defragmenting a hard drive, running backups, uh, configuring your network, troubleshooting, all this type of stuff. CompTIA continues to work really hard to make sure that you have the practical skills to be able to get out there and work on your computers.